Summer hoops is the best time to get better. You get to focus on your weaknesses, sharpening your strengths. So when that light cut on slim, you ready to shine. You gotta be ready to put in the work though. And if you don't, you know, the game will expose you. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about that. Two, good, come on. Me, I'm just ready to help the youngest that's trying to play high school, college, and one day play professionally. And also just helping guys who love the game, man. I recorded a lot of these games so I could go back and watch and study it. Now, I didn't know what I was studying. I was just watching my favorite player, how he moved or how he was getting open, how he was getting buckets. But the older I got and the more I kept studying and watching, and I started to learn how to watch it from a basketball player's perspective, from a coach's perspective, from uh, those are the main things. You know, it was, this was the best time of the year to study games. Coming up, we ain't had no YouTube or direct internet connection, man. You got wait till the newspaper come out the next day. Uh, me, I just waited for inside stuff on the weekends. And after watching those games or, or highlights, when I would get hyped, man, I, I couldn't wait to get to the blacktop. You know, I'll take the bus. Sometimes I'll get a ride because I wanted to exercise my imagination, what I just saw and, 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 and do it how I see it. Yeah, I don't halfway do anything I love. I give it a hundred. Whether it reciprocates or not, I don't hold back. I'd rather go hard today, rest up, and worry about tomorrow. You know, I don't reserve my energy because all I know for sure is right now. And that's in anything I pursue that's of interest. So, uh, you know, when I believe in something, I put my all in it.
play like it's my last. I obsess because it's my craft. I pursue my peace all while being labeled an outcast. To perfect what I lack is the goal, not an act that I share with the world because it's real, it's my fact. I think back to backtrack when I lost my backpack of life's essentials in order to get back. Because now I get it. Life happens in moments, can't freeze or hold them. Learn to accept what now brings and be ready to own them. Because truth is, all of life is a test. And because you feel a bunch of times, eh, worry less, don't stress. Just know you have a strong enough heart to eject regret. And the gift of continuance. When you simply push that button reset. I'm eager to hoop like crazy. This whole reset is about to, it's about to be something real smooth. Oh, so day one, um, I tore my Achilles uh, tendon yesterday. You know, I'm in better spirits, I guess, because I know it's going to heal. So I'm just going to keep taking care of my body. I'm currently icing my knee. You know, it's no problem. It's gotten, it's way better than it was originally. So now I got to take care of this baby. Um. You know, and I'm going to keep y'all posted. Uh, day one. <clears throat> day one. Uh, so yesterday. Yesterday being June 26th. Yeah, but um, I'll be back. People will confidently tell you how difficult it is to overcome an obstacle they've never experienced. And to that, I say listen to your inner being. A lot of things won't go as planned as you originally envisioned it. In fact, you will fail or be disappointed more times than you can count, but there is always a chance to start all over if your willingness allows you to. So here's the thing, right? Whether we like it or not, there are phases in life that requires us to reset. Sometimes life nudges, and other times you're responsible for your own reset to reassess, evaluate, remove, improve, adjust and respond differently to a newfound understanding of how certain things work, can work, or just won't work moving forward. You name any situation, good or bad, you find yourself having to reset to do better, to improve. And I think the challenge is figuring out what part of the past experience, good and bad, do you now bring it to the present to help your current situation. One thing for sure, you can't afford to sit around wishing I never took that chance, dwelling on the missed jump or hoping the mistake never happened because guess what? Time keeps on moving. What I think is best is to just simply acknowledge and remember your doings and what happened in any given situation and then look forward to the next pages to write a decent chapter in your book of life. We can't rewind time. We can't fast forward time, we can't pause time, we can't slow-mo time. It's been stuck on place since the day we were born. The only button we have access to is reset. Oh my gosh, sir. Your boy gonna be sweet. <laughs> I'm stopping.